Hey guys, Addy here and welcome back to another episode of The Walking Dead. This is episode 4, part 4. Okay, is this going to be easy to get come. ourselves in? You come with me to get the truck. Gabe and Kate, you guys hang back here. Be ready for anything. Let's go. I think I should go with you, actually. That wasn't the plan, Gabe. Actually... I was kind of hoping you'd be willing to watch my back on this one. Don't want to get surprised while I'm out there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I guess somebody needs to be a lookout. What? Nothing. Gabe and I won't be fine back here. Anything for a pretty girl. Okay, so that looks like trouble, so we don't want to go over there. We can take a quick look at this, because this looks like something this we looks may like need one to of the know. areas Richmond is expanding into. Yeah. This is their next plan of attack. Oh, talk to. Who's that? Oh, that's Clemmy? Yeah, that's Clemmy. I was being like, holy crap. Okay, this might be the vehicle. Locked. We can't catch a break. Break the window. <sighs> Where those would probably rip this old truck apart in seconds. Okay. So it's not quite the one we want. This would be too slow. Let's take a look at it anyway. <sighs> this thing looks like it moves too slow for an escape. This big one over here might be something. Guess they'll be using that for construction once they've cleared this area. Okay, let's talk to Clemmy before we head around and look at everything else. What's going on? Thanks. For what? Gabe. Helping out with Gabe. He's having a rough time. Yeah, we all are. I'm just doing what I can. Let's keep looking for that truck. You got it. Okay, let's walk around here. Because it's the last place that I can most desperately think that maybe... Here we go. Uh, why do I feel like we need to use that forklift? There it is. Let's go. Oh, it's gonna open. I like it. It's a taxi. A taxi. Hey, it's an armored vehicle. What are the chances? I'd say about 50 50. Smart ass. Bazinga. They say I'm Oh yeah, this graveyard shift is killing me. Oh, let me For see. it. Early risers. Come on, we gotta hurry and finish before more people wake up. What are we gonna do? We can't start the engine. Not without attracting a lot of attention. Shoot him in the head. Kate, nah, that's probably you a steer. bit too much. The rest of us are gonna get behind the truck and push. Oh see wow. See if we can't get some distance between us and them. As if they didn't notice the sound of the roller door. Ready? Ready. Ready. Okay. Gear shift on. Let's go. As if this is going to be a pushable thing. Come on. There we go. <laughs> I didn't think they opened the roller door enough for that. There we go. Turns out you needed me after all, huh? I'm just saying. Push I know you didn't want me to come along. I'm glad you were here. here. Okay? At least you can admit it. Yeah. Well, it turns out you're pretty useful when you actually follow directions. Hmm. 
Don't think those guys will be able to hear the engine all the way over here. I put it in neutral. Couldn't find an ignition key in there. Guess you'll have to hotwire it. Try not to shock yourself. Shit. I'll need something to strip the wires. They left all their supplies lying around. Bet there'll be some tools out there somewhere. Just try to hurry, okay? Why don't you send one of the others out there to do that instead of just like... Oh, there it is. Actually quite surprised that they're not making... Oh, they are. Okay. I shall take this. Oh, crappers! Holy dooly! <laughs> Almost there. Keep an eye out while I get it started, okay? I'll check on the guys in the office. Almost scared the poops out of me. Clem and I will look out for walkers. Okay. Here goes. Oh, don't hammer it. I could just do it without the... Wire cutter should help with this. Okay. I almost don't even know which one to do. Okay. Let's go. We just cut them all. Gotta connect the battery to the ignition. I don't even know which one that is. Okay, so this is the battery. Use. Wait. Oh no, they make us think. So I'm assuming this is the ignition. Okay. Use the battery. We'll grab this one. Let there be light. We can hot wire stuff. <laughs> Smoke and fire. Achievement five. As if they wouldn't hear that coming the through the center of town. Away. This is a good place to wait. Do we have enough gas? Well, I'm not about to turn the engine off again. What now? We wait for Ava to call us on the walkie. So, nothing for us to do but sit and watch the sun come up. How romantic. Well, I know we've got something important to do. I'm teaching you to play Euchre. That's not a real thing. It's a card game. Come on, it's fun. <laughs> it's nice to be driving around with a couple kids in the back seat again. Really takes you back, doesn't it? Just you and me and Gabe and Mari. You're right. This is nice. If I just close my eyes, we're right back where we were. All of us together. Do what I do. Try to think about the nice stuff. Not everything that happened after. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. That's not even a good rule. Still gotcha. Guess he stopped playing it cool with her. Hmm? Uh, in case you haven't noticed, Gabe's got a little crush on Clementine. He like likes her. You get it? I hope it works out for them. I really do. They're good for each other, I think. Think their first official date will be target practice? Then skinning and eating a wild animal. Ah, uh, young love. It's so normal, you know? 
cheating. Like, as crazy as things get, as terrible and tragic and just plain stupid, there's nothing more wonderfully ordinary as two kids falling for each other. Not that they're there yet. But to feel something that intensely for another person? Hey, the falling in love is the easy part. It's the staying in love part that'll really mess you up. It's unfair, that's all I'm saying. That they're feeling what they're feeling right now, and when that sun gets a little higher, it's right back to the fight. I just wish he could have had a childhood, you know? I wish I could have given him that. Him and you had a choice, Mari you've done the best both. you could. Now, you did the best you could, Kate. You kept his family alive as long as you possibly could. It counts for a lot. I hope you know, Javi, having you there with me, right by my side, all this time, that's what made the difference. You're so sure of what you're doing all this for. You didn't run away. You could have. I'm here so I can set an example for people, for Gabe especially. Someone to be proud of. Someone who sticks around. I get it. There's no graceful way to say this, so I'm just gonna say it. I know we've had moments, you and I. And they're always a little hot and a little confusing and maybe some of them haven't meant anything at all. <laughs> but before whatever happens tomorrow happens, I need you to know, whatever this thing is between us, I want to give it a chance. And I know the fact that David is back in our lives now makes this whole thing a little more complicated. But do you feel the same way? I'd really like to know before things get crazy. We might not get another chance. <laughs> Let's go for it. We gotta try, right? Oh my god, really? Really. So are we gonna... Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Shit. We're doing this. You do realize we're gonna have to have a weird conversation with David, right? And that'll probably screw it's up everything the right else. Way to play this. He already got the sense I was pulling away. I just want to be able to tell him in person. It'll feel better that way. I hope he can handle it. I know he's good under pressure, but this is different. Yeah. Here's hoping he doesn't completely flip out. I feel like he Considering will. we're about to save his life, maybe he'll cut us a break. Javi, it's an execution over here. She's planning to hang David in front of the whole crowd. You've got to get over here now. Don't bring the truck. If they see it, they'll kill him right away. If you can just get into the square... Shit. We gotta get over there. Now. I'm going to hang back here, with the truck. Keep the walkie close by. We'll tell you as soon as we've got David. Good luck. Nothing else from Ava? Nope. And it sounds like a crowd out there. It sounded like Ava got cut off by something. Or somebody. Wish we have she's some idea of what we're heading into. Like, is the whole plan shot? Or did she just have a little setback? I hate not knowing. Ava could be having problems with the walkie-talkie. Maybe it's out of range, or ran out of batteries or something. Maybe. I really We're not gonna know what went wrong thing. until we actually do this thing. So, let's do it already. You ready? Ready as I'm gonna be. Glad to hear it. 